This is a case of an early pregnancy on which we did transabdominal scan to find a huge ovarian cyst. Transvaginal ultrasound revealed an extra interesting finding. The ovarian cyst is huge and aseptate with no evidence of any particulate matter or septa. The ovarian cyst is seen above and posterior to the fundus of the uterus. Transabdominal ultrasound also shows a normal gestation sac with a viable embryo. While ovarian cysts can be common in pregnancy, a large maternal ovarian cyst can increase the risk of complications such as torsion or rupture. It is important for the gynecologist to closely monitor the patient with regular ultrasound examinations to ensure that the cyst is not causing any harm to the developing fetus or the mother. In general, depending on the size and location of the cyst, the gynecologist may decide to take a conservative approach and wait for the cyst to resolve on its own or may recommend surgery to remove the cyst if it poses a significant risk to the patient. We did a color doppler evaluation of the cyst as well as the uterus and the gestational sac and found nothing unusual. The fetus does show cardiac pulsations and everything looks okay for the embryo. We also did a transvaginal ultrasound to confirm these findings. Transvaginal ultrasound also confirms the presence of a viable embryo with a yolk sac also seen. However, the transvaginal ultrasound also showed an interesting feature of thin strands within the gestational sac. The question that arose was, are these early amniotic bands or something else which may not be significant? Amniotic bands are usually not seen at such an early stage of pregnancy and hence we think that this may be something called fibrin strands a benign condition. What are fibrin strands? These are thin strands of fibrin that can be seen within the gestational sac. The presence of fibrin strands is not uncommon and is generally considered a normal finding in early pregnancy. They are thought to be the result of a normal breakdown of the embryonic membranes. Also, an improvement in the resolution of the transvaginal ultrasound transducers has made them easily visible. So what are the important differentiating features of fibrin strands from amniotic bands? First of all, fibrin strands are thin and wispy, while amniotic bands are thicker and more fibrous. Fibrin strands are also usually mobile within the gestational sac, while amniotic bands are fixed and do not move. On color Doppler, the fibrin strands also show no vascularity. Also, as mentioned before, fibrin strands are usually seen in early pregnancy, while amniotic bands are more commonly seen in the second or third trimester. Some of the other causes of such an appearance within the gestational sac include subchorionic hemorrhage, which can also produce small strand-like material within the gestational sac. In some cases, the testudal lining of the uterus may in some cases lead to the formation of fibrin strands within the gestational sac. Sometimes a miscarriage can begin but not complete, leading to the formation of fibrin strands within the gestational sac. Other signs of an incomplete miscarriage may include bleeding and cramping. We concluded that this patient does not have any other significant findings besides the ovarian cysts and hence a final diagnosis of a large maternal ovarian cyst with fibrin strands within the gestational sac was made. Once again, we swept through the ovarian cyst as well as the gestational sac and the prognosis in this patient appears to be good. Maternal ovarian cyst needs to be regularly followed up while 
the fibrin strands may not be of much significance. In summary, the fibrin strands within a six weeks gestational sac with a live embryo can have several differential diagnoses, including subchorionic hemorrhage, decidual reaction, incomplete miscarriage, and an ectopic pregnancy also in rare cases. It is important to differentiate between fibrin strands from amniotic bands, which have different implications for the prognosis and the outcome of the pregnancy. The presence of fibrin strands in this pregnancy does not have a bad prognosis 